Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today where we are testing every single mask in Amazon, in the world, in the universe. That's right, we're doing them all. And today we're looking at the King Fa mask, the king of the Fa masks. That joke didn't really land. Let's put this in the clamper. All right, clamper, by the way, technical term. So that's, uh, you can trust me because I'm wearing a lab coat. Let it rip. This is a PFE machine. If you want to find out more about how this works, check out that video. Otherwise, we're going to move on and talk about Kingfa today. Now, Kingfa is a manufacturer of melt blown. Melt blown is the key material that filters, uh, you know, all those particulates. So you'd think they would make a pretty good mask that would pass the standards here. You'd think, but that's why we're testing it. Um, I actually know about these guys from at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, we looked at maybe buying Melplon from them when we couldn't get it from the United States. They've been making Melplon forever and they know what they're doing and they decided, why just make the Melplon when I can make the whole mask? Now, you can actually get this, or used to be able to get this on Amazon, no longer. Um, but I found it on Newegg. So you, you can get it on Newegg, I guess. Um, and it looks like, by the way, I just happened to pull this up, they're now making KN95s. And look at this, NIOSH tested their KN95s 98%, 98%, 99%. Dang. They made a good mask there. But will they make a good mask here? Let's open this up and look in here. It's a sealed bag. It's pretty good. I like that. It's got this quality certificate and instruction manual. Kind of using the word manual loosely there. It's one piece of paper. Let's take a look at the masks. Great seal on this. I mean, really well put together. Look at that. That is pretty good construction. You're seeing an even amount there. You've got a centered nose wire, consistent production. Getting a little bit of uh, clouding here, um, which makes me think that the uh, spun bond isn't great, but it feels great. So let's try the, uh, the ear loops. Oh, wow. That's a... Anytime I compliment a mask, it breaks. That's really strong. I'm, dude, I'm gonna give the construction 25. That's great. All right, now let's try it on the face. Nose wire is great. Let's do a smell here. I'm gonna call this smell slightly moist cardboard. Yeah. Your mileage may vary on that one. But does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? Now, they're not making any claims on a box. They're not set to any standards. So it's kind of up for grabs. 90.408%. 90.408%. Not the worst mask we tested. Not the best. Not the best. We like to see, uh, you know, a minimum American standards, which is 98 or 95%. Um, that would be an ASTM level one mask. ASTM level two or three is 98% or better. So um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, let's find some more masks together, huh? You, you got anything that we haven't tested so far? Let's do it. Send it to me. I'm going to put a, a link below so I can get your masks and give you a shout out. Thank you so much. And I will catch you on the next test.